I like to have closure pieces already ventilated and hey Facebook um, I like to have closure pieces already ventilated and ready for uh, just a unit if I hate to say unit I like to have closure pieces ready for a wig that I'm making for someone or if someone's like hey I just need something really really quickly then I already have the piece made that I can just pop on there um, and bam it's done so that's what I'm working on right here. So you see my frog tape. And with the frog tape, I just use that as the base for my pattern since I don't have a client that I'm making this for specifically. And my wig block right here, my wig block, this is the wig block that I use for my smaller um, hybrid wigs. So this is just a 21 and a half and you see that I have it mapped out already um, for my caps so what i'm doing now is i just drew the area out where i want to start ventilating the frontal and now i'm taping over the area where i drew in at because you do not want your permanent marker to bleed onto the lace and then my lace the air conditioner made it fall on the floor do not take a minute for me and then my lace i'm using film lace which is that very, very thin, 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 thin lace. And then I'm going to ventilate. I thought about using this hair, which is hair, honestly. This hair, I bought this hair about 10 years ago at a hair show, and I just never used it. I kept it in my stash. I'm thinking about using that. Or I may go grab some, some blonde hair that I have from a donor. So that's what i'm doing today so i'm going to be walking you guys through this process for a few minutes before i go i'm super excited because we are down to eight days before the lace Week training system 2.0 relaunches i am super excited i'm really excited for the live events i'm really excited for you guys to see uh this body of work because that's really what it is it's, a, it's an entire body of work that we've worked really hard to put together. A few people on Insta says it's blurry, but there's a reason for that. Everyone. Okay. Well, because we're running, we actually have fiber, which is the sad part. I so know. the fastest internet like in the world, mm -hmm. but the Wi-Fi is shaky. And eventually, I think in the next month, we'll be moving over to a HD live situation. Yes. Which right now we're running off multiple iPhones and iPads. So mm -hmm. yeah, just hasn't haven't made that transition and this Wi-Fi is tearing me up. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> okay, so if y'all couldn't hear him, let me break this down. Instagram, the reason why you're having trouble um seeing clearly is because the Wi-Fi is shaky. Now we actually have fiber here, which is crazy fast, but it's Abs absolutely so shaky that it's not stable. We've actually lost connection a few times it's the, and then it would happen on client days when I have calls with private clients and that's just a whole nother issue. But um, hopefully here soon we will have a better option so that when we do go live you guys can see everything very clearly with the 4K HD camera and we don't have to have all these issues. But until then this is what we got. So if you're having problems watching here, go over to either Facebook or Periscope. I am on Periscope at Marquetta B. I am on Facebook at facebook.com slash Marquetta Breslin fan page. And then um, I'm here, of course. Now, we're not on YouTube live today, but this video will be uploaded to YouTube if you can't see it too. So you'll be able to see it if you can't watch it now. I'm sorry. Uh, we're working it out. All right. So How much hair does it take to create a frontal? Oh, my gosh. So it only takes a fraction. So And shout out before you get into that to Brandon. We love you. We miss you. He said, what's up? Brandon? From South Carolina. Hey! <laughs> what's <laughs> up? Oh my goodness. We haven't seen you guys in so long. Shout out. What's up? Tell the family we said hey. Um, a, okay, a closure. A closure or frontal? Ricky? Uh, I think she said frontal. A frontal. Yeah. Well, the frontal is everything that you do, every project is the amount of hair you use is going to be determined by the type of hair that you have or the type of hair you're using, the size, all kinds of things, the density. But in, uh, in average, I would say for this closure piece, something this big, I would probably only use 
about this much hair right here. I can't even pull it apart right now because it's still a little bit wet. But it's not what you think it is. Out of this bundle, I can probably get two and a half, maybe three, three frontals out of this. Depending on the density. I like to have mine like a nice medium thick density. So this will probably be all that I use right here if I decide to use this. If I had a hair with a thicker density, like if it was super curly or something like that, I would obviously use less hair because when you ventilate, the hair gets bulky really, really quickly. Unless I was doing something that required a lot of bulk, which um, I haven't done anything like that lately. But if you look down on my Instagram feed, you'll see um, a picture where the hair is super coarse, like an afro texture, which is like my legit texture in real life. But it's like a super thick afro texture. That hair, you don't need a lot. To, it, it bulks up really, really quickly. So it's determined that the, the density that you're going to get or the amount of hair that you're going to use is going to be determined by the size of the piece. So, and that's one of the things that I cover a lot in the system, in the brand new system. I talk about that a lot because it makes a world of difference. No two pieces, I always say this, no two pieces are the same, especially if you're using different hair because hair is going to react different. You may be making a piece where that individual wants a very, very light density, so you're not gonna use a lot of hair. You may be using a different material. It may not be the same lace. I have different types of lace in my stash. This particular type of lace is a lot more thin and fragile, and the holes are slightly smaller than the lace that I used in the video. So all of this plays a factor in how much hair you actually use for a piece. So I haven't really decided, and I think what I'm gonna do for these lives is I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through the entire process. Over the next eight days, you'll see me start it, start ventilating it, choose the hair, all of that good stuff, so you can actually see what it's like. Now, of course, in the system, I go in depth over of, with all of this, with the type of hairs that you can choose, um, the different textures and all of that stuff how to break this down, how to do it. I mean, it's, the system is amazing. If you're not on that early bird list, go over to lacewigtrainingcenter.com and join because you have the opportunity. We've only mentioned two of the bonuses. There are a lot more bonuses and there's a lot more of a benefit to joining the early bird list to getting in early than not. So I'll talk about some of those over the next eight days, but one of the biggest things that people are super excited about, I've been getting a lot of DMs and emails, is the seminar because my hands-on seminars are second to none, I have to say. Um, and so a lot of people are super excited about that, especially the private 15 person one. That's one of the ones I'm most excited about. I love the intimacy of that event. I, I absolutely love it and um, I'm super excited. So if you're interested, text early bird, all caps to 33444 and you'll be on that early bird list and you'll be able to take advantage of all of this. What is it? <laughs> is there a question? Uh, Miss Talonda Huff yes. says that makeup though. And that, <laughs> that's on our Facebook feed over here. It's gonna be missed. So my know. face is beat. No, my face is beat today from my daughter. And we've got another one on YouTube saying love your makeup. So we appreciate That's Periscope. Oh, this is Periscope. Yes. We appreciate that. Okay, so my makeup today is done by my 13-year-old daughter, Naya Breslin. She is on um, she's everywhere. She's go to Nyabreslin.com. She's Naya Breslin Makeup on Instagram. She's on Facebook, Naya Breslin, Periscope, Naya Breslin. She's everywhere. But uh, she did this beat down today, and she's an incredible makeup artist. She's been doing makeup since she was seven years old. She's awesome, and I'm super proud of her. But that's, that's my makeup for today. And my hair, my stylist is on Instagram. I'll be sure to link her up. Um, her name is Lori, and she is an amazing stylist. Okay, so getting back to this. So now that I have, can they see this? Can I see this? No? Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. So now what I've done is I've created the pattern, and then I taped over it with the scotch tape to cover up that because we don't want any of that 
marker, permanent marker, bleeding into the lace or onto the lace. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my straight pins and I'm gonna block this. If you don't know what blocking is, there's definitely more details about blocking in the system, but blocking is the way you secure your pattern to the wig block. So it's very important that you properly block before moving on to the next step. So you'll be blocking both the pattern and then on top of that, you're gonna block the lace. If you're on Facebook and Periscope, be sure to share this while I'm live so that other people who are interested also can see. Okay, so now, and a lot of people ask, I get asked all the time, can I just use ball pins? No, because if you use ball pins to secure your pattern down, then when you get ready to put the lace over it, the pins are gonna be sticking up. And also, as you're pinning down your pattern, whatever that pattern, you know, whatever it is, whether if it's a mold for a full lace or whatever it is, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't pin on top of your pattern. You wanna pin to the outer perimeter. That's really, really, really important. So, all right guys, like I said earlier, be sure to share, 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 share. So people who are interested get to see this process. So now, what I'm gonna do after I block is I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my lace for the closure piece. Now, when you're making these closure pieces, if it's not for a specific piece, or if it's not a custom closure piece that you're doing that you have a pattern for where you actually had a client come in and sit down and create the pattern, when you do these, you just wanna find the flattest part of your wig block so that you don't have any buckling or anything like that. Now, sometimes that's a little bit challenging because for different wig blocks, they have different, um, they're shaped and curved differently because they're supposed to mimic the shape of the head with the occipital bone and all of that stuff. But sometimes you just don't have that luxury. So I have, if you, this is just a fraction of, I mean, this is just what, three wig blocks, but I have a ton of wig blocks, something different shapes, different sizes. Um, you never know what you're going to encounter. So that is uh, very critical. I also have a lot of, just a lot of supplies in my repertoire to pull from because you never know what you're gonna use or need for what. Um, so it's very important to have a lot of these things in your kit. My kit is, this is pretty much what my kit consists of over here. I have a lot of ball pins, a lot of straight pins, and of course my ventilating needles and all of that stuff. Shout out to Yolanda Matlock. Love your work, been following you for years, also got your DVD set, and if she said the word DVD, <laughs> that means she's been riding. Man, if you said DVDs, you've been riding for a minute. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Big shout out to you. She said DVD, y'all. If y'all don't know, we've been in this you know what? Today is 14 years. Today is our 14 year wedding anniversary and our 14 years in business. We went in business the day we got married. A lot of people are like, how the heck did you, did you do that? And trust me, it ain't easy. But we did it by the easy grace now. of God. It's easy <laughs> now, yes. <laughs> it's easier now. No, it's easy now. Over communicate. Over. Over communicate. Don't let any, 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 any question be unanswered or unknown. That's right. And you have zero problems if that's the case. Yep. As long as you're willing to change. You can't be that old. No, you can't. I am who I am. I am, I am who I am. I am who I am. I'm who I be. And you you ain't gonna tell me what to do. We've gotta be willing to change. Yes, you have to be willing to change. For the other person, that would be yeah. the key. Yeah, you really do. But 14 years in business and 14 years married. Today, y'all, today, oh my goodness. You know, I was joking with somebody. It was a couple years ago. <laughs> you know how I got reminded of our wedding anniversary? When? A couple years ago, like mm. back in 06, a calendar alert. Nice. <laughs> That's what I always rely on. It was a calendar alert the day before. And I was like, oh, tomorrow's my anniversary. No. Um, we have another one on the Periscope feed. Okay, cool. What's up on Periscope? Just saying she's been with us for a while since way, you taught her how to braid. So oh my gosh. That would be 04, 05, 06. Well, you've never stopped that. 
No, I okay, so I came into this industry as a braider. I've always been a braider. Um, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. For all y'all that have been riding with us for so long. People think that we just started this thing like a couple of years ago, maybe a year or two ago, but we've really been in this industry. We've been online since 2003. It's been a minute. And we've got Miss Alencia. 3095. <laughs> I've been following you since 06. And Whoa! Well, you thank you. Yeah, so we've got some riders. Wow, now. thank you guys. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank We're you. We're very thankful. I started as a braider. Um, in fact, I braided hair. That's how um, I got through basic training. If y'all don't know, I was in the Air Force for nine and a half years. And in basic, I would trade whatever I had to do. So my job was, I think I was latrine queen, which meant I was responsible for cleaning the bathrooms and then I had some other jobs. But anyway, what I would do is trade my job for braiding hair. So my flight, we were all fly because everybody had their hair done by me. So that's how we got through basic and then I braided hair when I was going through training at Keesler in Mississippi. I was there for a minute in Biloxi. And then when I got to Langley, which is in Hampton, Virginia, shout out to anybody from Hampton. I love that place. But while I was in Hampton, I took clients and I actually started braiding hair. And that's when I got my braiding license off of my experience. And then after that, I went on to get my cosmetology license and then, you know, all this other stuff started coming and I started teaching these other things after I realized that God had gifted me with the ability to take a complex technique and break it down to where anybody can learn. That's why so many people who attend my events, they come in and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make wigs. I don't know how to ventilate. Can you really help me? And the answer is yes. I have yet, I don't want to say everybody leaves out of there just bam, 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 because that would be a lie, but I have yet to have a failure where, any, where they went through the class and just hated it and didn't learn absolutely anything. So I have a God-given ability, that's why I always say, to take any, what is it, type of complex. Hold on, we, we've it got a showstopper. A showstopper. A miss or misses. Uh-huh. Kenya. I'm not going to murder that last name. I've been rolling with you since day one, oh five, to be exact. And I'm rolling <laughs> wow. with you until the wheels fall off. Oh. That's what's going on, Kenya. That's why we love you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Y'all are awesome. so sweet. Y'all are very sweet. Now, but it's been, it's definitely been a journey. A lot of people um, who have been riding that long, then y'all remember the emails about mom and me giving updates about mom before she died. The day she died, my mom died today. Yeah, and, <laughs> then, and then because we were- We've had real rider dies. And all those emails are from you. Like it's rare, like with the company, they'll always send out like real corporate messages. No, I don't send out. I like that we've kept it raw like that for 14, yeah. 14 years. Like emails yes. from you. Completely transparent. Yeah. Like we've always been very transparent in everything we do, even like Ricky was saying, even when my mom passed away that day, because so many people over the years, I'm getting, I'm welling up with tears now. So many people over the years sent cards, they sent letters, they sent, um, mom would always be, mom was my assistant at the seminars for, why did you have to mention this? <laughs> she, she, my makeup. Um, mom was my assistant at the seminars for many, many years. It would just be me and mom. And, um, really. <laughs> and so, Sorry, baby. I didn't plan on crying, y'all. But, um, she would assist me for so long and so many people would just send cards or email, um, and just ask, how's your mom doing? So, when she passed away, it was very important for us to keep everybody um, updated and let everybody know what was going on. And, and we, we did it that morning or sometime that day. I don't remember that whole week was a blur to me, but we did send out an email um, letting everyone know and all the thank yous. I could not even, um, wow. 
it was hard for me to even say thank you. It, the, the magnitude of love and prayers and well wishes that came out of that, just that was a big part in helping us heal as a family, knowing that so many people cared. And so we just really appreciated it. We appreciate all the love. So when I say um, thank you for riding with us for so long, I mean that from, thank you, honey. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We mean that. Thank you. Because without your support, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be, I, you know, we, we just wouldn't be able to do it. So I don't say that just because that's what you're supposed to say. I say it because I mean it. I really have a love for what I do. We love what we do. We really care about people. We care about helping. This isn't just... For us, and it's very rare to find this these days, and I'm not afraid to say it, but for us, it's more than just creating a product just to sell it to somebody. We create the products that we create with love and compassion and with you in mind, not with us in mind, because it's not about what we want, it's about what you need and what you want. So it really, when I get behind here, when I film those daily videos that I do or when I post something to Instagram or Facebook or Periscope, I haven't been there in a minute, but y'all know I love you anyway. <laughs> but when I do that, it's from a place of love. It's because um, I always say this at my events. If you have a God-given gift, if God gives you a gift, it is your God-given duty to share that gift with other people. And when you don't, you're saying to God, I don't care. In a sense. So I say all the time, you're doing people a disservice if you don't share that gift. And it ain't just about wigs. It ain't just about that. It's about what you have inside of you too. Because all of us have something. All of us have something to give. All of us have something to offer. And if we don't share that thing with other people, then we're doing ourselves and other people a disservice. So that's why I get behind here. Or that's why we sat down for two months and we filmed and we went hard and we we went very hard for two months. Yeah. We really did. Um, but we wanted so bad to, to make sure that we gave you guys everything we had. And we did. And we will continue to do that. It doesn't stop now. It starts now. <laughs> we will continue to do that. So, um, so when I say thank you, when we say thank you from the bottom of my heart, we truly mean thank you. Whew. Okay, who even said that to, a, to make me cry? We have a Periscope person over here who must have met Mike, who said that he, we were his clients and we are. We love Mike. Yes. And she was like, "Yours, y'all are really as genuine as you say you are." <laughs> well, I would okay. hope so. Thank I hope God. so. That's what's up. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And, thank um, you. Mm. What's up? <laughs> oh man, I did not plan on. Okay, it's cool. It happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that. And and um, I just lost my train of thought. But honestly, when we say we we love you guys, and when we we say something, or when we say thank you, we really mean it. Not just because that's what you're supposed to say. We really mean that from the bottom of our hearts. So if you are just joining. Be sure you're on the early bird list. What I'm doing, the early bird list for the Lace Week Training System 2.0 launch. So what you're watching me do right now, I'm just blocking a pattern because I'm getting ready to take you guys through my process of making a closure piece. This process will go on over the next eight days. No, it does not take me eight days to make the piece, but I'm going to stretch it out so I can take you guys through the process over the next eight days and so that you guys can see how it's done. Um, this is something that is included in the system. Obviously, there's a little bit more depth in the system, a lot more explanation. But um, we really have an awesome, awesome product on our hands and I can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So go over to lacewicktrainingcenter.com and sign up for the early bird list or just text early bird, all caps, to 33444 and you'll be added to the early bird list but you have to reply with your email address um, and then you'll be added to the list. Cat Nels. Yes. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Feel good. <laughs> I appreciate your body of work. 
Thank you. As a young stylist, because a lot of stylists where I'm from are very selfish. Thank you a lot. Uh, hearts times 10. Thank you so much. You know what? I've been in this industry for a very long time, and you are exactly right. And it's very unfortunate. In fact, I have a video that I posted to my Instagram talking about how, as stylists, especially in the African American part of being a stylist, we don't share nothing. We don't want people to know where we went to that class, how we did this, how we did that. And I think that's just the wrong way to go about things because there's fear there. There's fear that somebody's gonna be better than you, somebody's gonna do something better than you if you share this. But that's the wrong way to go about things because what God has for you is for you. And what God has for me is for me. So why should I hold on to, 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 to the, the things that I know and to the gifts that God gave me? So I feel that I have to share it. It's not even, oh, do you want to share? No, I have to. That's, that's, I, I have to. I have to share my knowledge. I've seen, listen, this morning, in fact, I was on Instagram and I was looking at one of my past students. His name is Shlomi Moore. Shlomi has done work for Vogue and all of this stuff. He's an editorial stylist. But he attended uh, my seminar, my Lace Week seminar, many years ago. It was early on. And to see what this man does now, it's incredible. I've never done, I, I, that's not my thing. I don't want to do that type of work, but he does. And to see somebody that you've trained be able to do work at his caliber is amazing to me. So that's how I look at it. It's not about being better than me. I want you to succeed. I want you to exceed my expectations, your expectations, and do amazing. <clears throat> I have another video that I posted about what being a true mentor is, and it's about being okay with your mentee or the person that you taught succeeding you. That's, that's where you want to be as a mentor. You want them. You should be okay with them doing better and, and going higher than you ever did. That's when you know you've done your job, but you can't be jealous or you can't have that, 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 that thing where it's like, gosh, I'm, I, I really don't want her to do this. So I'm going to hold back. If you come to an event, or even if you're watching me on this, I don't have, hold anything back. I don't have anything to hold back. I'm completely transparent, and I absolutely love what I do. And I'm never going to finish this thing if I can't work and talk at the same time. <laughs> so that's how I feel about that. I think it's very important that you know we do share what we have. We share with others and it doesn't have to be you don't have to give your whole life away I get that but um, being so tight lipped all the time is not cool I think there's something for everyone and we all have something to share we all have something to give and it's important to to share that and to give that so that's how I think about things okay so I'm almost done adding the pins I'll show you where I'm at with the pins so far and I just need my I just have to tack these in with my tack hammer, which I don't know that I have in this box, but I'll have to grab one. So I'm almost done blocking. I like to add, I don't know if you guys can see this. Can they see it? Periscope. So I like to add lots of pins, not so many pins where they're on top of each other, but I like for them to be spaced kind of close together because you don't want your pattern to move. If your pattern moves underneath your lace, then that could be a complete disaster. So you do not want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding these pins, although I'm almost done. And then when you block the lace, you're just gonna block it right over top, just like you would this. And so one of the things that you're definitely going to need, and I don't know if I have mine, is some sort of a tack hammer or a thimble to push these pins in, because you guys can't see this, but my fingers, have little dots in it from trying to push these pins into these wig blocks. Now some of the wig blocks are stuffed with sawdust and some are stuffed with cork. So it can be difficult to push these pins through but once you get them in there they're not coming out unless you pull them out with needle nose pliers. So that's where we're going to stop at today. Tomorrow we'll block the lace and maybe we'll do a little bit of ventilating tomorrow too. So I'm um, I'm super excited. I'm, we're going to create this piece together. I'm excited to do that. I want you guys to see what this process is like. And um, 
maybe somebody can go through the process with me. So I'm going to finish this up once I get off camera so tomorrow we're prepared to block the lace. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to join the email list so you have the opportunity to come for the hands-on training. Again, you could just go to lacewithtrainingcenter.com to join that email, that early bird list, or text early bird, all caps, no spaces, to 33444, and you'll have to reply with your email address, and you'll be added. Okay, guys, I want to thank you all again for tuning in and making me cry. It was awesome. <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.